Hello and welcome to this session on the training about Plaxis Automation Basics in which we will see how we can create and edit material datasets in input program using Python scripting. In this session we will cover the material dataset command and parameters for soil or rock and see how we can create and edit a material dataset. Then we will see how we can use Python scripting to define the same properties and finally give a quick look how this is done for a structural dataset. To start with, almost everyone has created at least once a material using the graphic user interface, GUI. The typical sequence of windows include the material sets window and then the multiple tabs with the definition of the material properties. At the end, you press OK and the material is ready to be used in your project. So, how can we now define a material in Plaxis? There are two options available, via the GUI or the Model Explorer using the right button mouse option and using the command line. Note that the soil mat command is used in all cases for soil or rock materials. For structural elements, there are specific commands such as plate mat, embedded beam mat, discontinuity mat and more. Using the GUI, you can either click on the icon at the side toolbar or use the right button mouse on the Model Explorer group Materials, as shown in this slide. Following this workflow, you will soon see updates on the command line and the final set of commands will look like this. Let's check them now one by one to better understand them. The soil mat is the command to create a soil or rock material. The soil model is the property for the constitutive model using a string. The identification is the property for identifying the name of the material. The gamma unsat and gamma sat are the properties for unsaturated and saturated unit weights respectively. The eref is the property for the Young's modulus. The nu is the property for the Poisson's ratio. And finally, the strength parameters, cref for cohesion, phi for friction angle and psi for the dilatancy angle. Using the command line as mentioned before, we will use the solmat command. This has the following syntax, solmat followed by property name and property value pairs. Note that detailed documentation can be found under help, command reference, object reference, solmat. For structures, you can check the relevant options such as plate mat, embedded beam mat, discontinuity mat, etc. At the bottom of this slide, you can see how a single line command looks like. Before we continue, it is important to refresh our memory on the set and set properties commands. The set command changes the property of an object, for instance, set 0.1.x 5.2. The set properties changes properties of multiple objects, such as set properties 0.1, x, 5.2, y, 3.6. Careful and be mindful of the order of properties in objects before changing the properties. For material objects in Plaxis it works the same. To change one material property we use the set command and for multiple properties at the same time we can use the set properties command. In Plaxis the material properties have dependencies and some can be derived from others. Examples of such dependencies are the following the soil or rock unit weight, gamma and sat must be smaller or equal to gamma sat. The friction angle and the dilatancy angle, psi, must be smaller or equal to phi. The k naught and c range depends on the friction angle phi. The hardening soil stiffness values ratios. With the set command we can update the specified parameter and Plaxis will update the related parameters from this change. For example, in a hardening soil material we can say set sand.v to 30 and this will implicitly update k naught and c and k naught primary to 0.5. For initial stresses with regards to the k naught we can say set sand.k naught determination to automatic and this will update related parameters such as the k naught x, k naught primary to 1 minus sinus v and k naught z k not secondary to 1 minus sinus phi. When working with materials, it is normal to make typos or mistakes. 
Plaxis offers a validation option which can be seen via the GUI on the Material Set Side panel, or by running the Validate command. Note that validation includes errors in red, warnings in orange, and hints in blue. You can see examples of the validation on the right and bottom of this slide. All material models require a minimum set of parameters for a correct definition to run a calculation. Here, you can see a few examples for the first models offered in Plaxis. For more information, please check the related pages on our Bentley communities. Let's check now an example of creating a more Coulomb material dataset. The first line is the command using the minimum set of properties. Below, you can see the Python equivalent. You will notice that the command name is the same and all the material properties are considered as parameters. That is why all are added within the parentheses, using a comma to separate each parameter. For bigger parameter sets, this can become hard to read and edit. There is a nicer option that defines the parameter set as list of tuples. And then we use the unpacking argument list operator for show mat function, asterisk params. Here is an example of how to do this. We first define a list of tuples and we assign it to a variable I call here send underscore params. These are the same parameters used in the example before. Then I call the solmat command using the unpacking argument and assign the object created to a variable I call here send underscore mc. Note that the material name identification of the sole material object is just send as can be seen in the send params list. The variable I named as send underscore mc containing the material object can be used at a later stage in which it can be assigned directly to a material property of any soil object. To be able to identify the various parameters for a material you can use our documentation or the echo command in Plaxis input. That will give you the current list. Remember that to change one single property, you can use the set command. Let's quickly see some Python examples for phi and the k-node determination. I can run the following. gi.send.phi equals sign 31. Or I can use the variable I created before from the previous slides, send underscore mc dot phi equals sign 31. And gi.send.k-node determination equals sign automatic. When needing to edit multiple properties at the same time, you can use the set properties command, or in short, SPS. Let's see two Python examples considering a soil unit weight combination of gamma and sat and gamma sat, or the hardening soil stiffness moduli. The first would be gi.send.set properties, gamma and sat 16, gamma sat 19, and the second, gi.sps, gi.send, e50 ref, 40,000, e odometer ref, 40,000, e ur ref, 120,000. Remember that Python is case sensitive when writing down object and property names. In some cases, you need to change the sole model to a more advanced constitutive model. This requires changing the value for dot .sol model property. Accepted values can be provided using the string-based values for clarity, such as more Coulomb, hardening soil, HSmall, etc. Notice that these are in quotation marks, indicating a string. The strategy usually in this case is to change the required soil parameters using the set properties command. In this slide, you can see the full Python code for such a case. We first define a new variable called hs underscore params, which contains a list of tuples with the new properties we need in order to define a hardening soil model. All we need afterwards is to run the set properties command. sand underscore mc dot set properties asterisk hs underscore params and all our properties are to be updated one by one using the unpacking argument. Finally, let's see an example on how to define a material dataset for structures. 
The structural datasets work in the same way as the ones for soil and rock. This means that we need parameter name, parameter value pairs. In this slide, you can see an example of a Plaxis 2D plate material. At the bottom of the code, you can recognize the plate mat command and all the properties defined. In this case, I simply added the values of the various properties via already defined variable, as this is typically something that can vary in your projects.